Because the 1.0 version has exposed inefficiencies over time, DeFi 2.0 is the hottest buzzword in the crypto market in October 2021. Uniswap V3, Curve Finance, Convex Finance, and other projects are ready for this new wave. Following early success with a total OHM value of over $1.5 billion, Olympus DAO is following the DeFi 2.0 wave by releasing the Pro version for its prominent product. Is this something you're interested in learning more about? If that's the case, please keep watching. But first, hello and welcome back to the channel. This is Crypto Now, and we're back with another incredible video. So please subscribe to the channel and enable alerts to be notified of each new upload. Olympus is a decentralized reserve money protocol based on the OHM token, which is backed by the Olympus DAO, or the protocol controlled value, PCV. OHM is backed by a basket of crypto assets in the Olympus treasury, including DAI and FRAX. They use the acronym DAO, which stands for Decentralized Autonomous Organization, to indicate that OHM holders can vote on the platform's destiny. In essence, they offer staking and bonding services in addition to the OHM token. They hope to be a worldwide trade unit and a medium of currency exchange in the real world in the future. So how does the Olympus DAO work? Users on Olympus DAO can choose between two basic strategies. They're all linked to the OHM token, extending its use. Staking is a long-term approach in which users are rewarded with OHM for staking on the Olympus website. Depending on the number of OHM staked in the protocol, the reward rate can be changed. Users will obtain SOHM when staking OHM, which can be utilized on various DeFi protocols. Users only need to burn SOHM to get OHM. Bond sales provide the OHM benefits, which will be described next. Bonding is a short-term approach that allows Olympus to own the liquidity and reserve assets that have been granted. Bonders buy OHM tokens at a discounted price with a vesting time using LP tokens or crypto assets like DAI, LUSD, FRAX, and WETH. In the first plan, bond sales will produce profit for the Olympus treasury, allowing it to mint OHM and distribute them to OHM stakers. The Olympus platform also provides users with the following bonds. DAI bond, FRAX bond, WETH bond, OHM DAI LP bond, OHM FRAX LP bond. We've been talking about the OHM token, but what exactly is it? The Olympus DAO platform's principal token is OHM, which is backed by cryptocurrency. When consumers bond with their crypto assets, they will be minted. They can then select whether to stake the OHM tokens or sell them on another exchange. To clarify, backed crypto has the potential to be more valuable than the asset's underlying coin. On the other hand, a pegged cryptocurrency indicates that the price of the cryptocurrency is tied to the price of a specific item. As a result, the OHM price may be significantly greater than the underlying cryptos. As we previously stated, OHM is Olympus DAO's core token. Hence, the Olympus team has equipped the token with many capabilities. Staking is the first step. Users stake their OHM tokens on Olympus DAO to receive OHM payouts from bond sales. The second is governance, in which OHM investors acquire SOHM tokens in a one-to-one -one ratio, which reflects voting power on the platform. Furthermore, SOHM is a transferable token. There are three ways to get OHM tokens. The first method is to bond tokens to receive OHM with a vesting term. The second method is staking, where users stake OHM tokens to gain OHM as a staking reward. Finally, users can buy on large exchanges such as Uniswap, SushiSwap, or Gate.io. Before you invest, there are a few things to consider. We have no idea who invented this protocol. It's not necessarily a fraud, but it is a warning sign. Olympus DAO has a large and active community. That's a promising indicator. They don't have any significant relationships or endorsements from major crypto players. This is a warning sign. They make no guarantee that the token's price will stay the same or that the APY will stay the same. This is a good thing. Your funds are not locked and can be withdrawn at any moment. This is advantageous since you have the freedom to jump ship whenever you choose. 
The project's amazing APY sounds quite appealing, and we feel many people will be enticed to participate. That is something we well understand. However, we should conduct further investigations and exercise extreme caution before purchasing OHM coins, since this project has numerous red flags. The red flags do not necessarily mean that this is a scam, but they do indicate that you should proceed with caution and only invest money that you can afford to lose without getting into difficulty. Good day, mate. We've made it halfway through our list and we sincerely hope you've enjoyed it thus far. If you have, please give us a thumbs up and turn on notifications to be alerted of new uploads. Will Olympus be successful after all of this? Here are some things to keep an eye out for. Keep an eye on the OHM staking rate of return. Staking OHM has a high rate of return, which encourages investors to acquire more OHM on the open market, maintain supply liquidity, and perform additional bondings for more OHM. It will be fascinating to see how investors react when the returns start to taper. The question of how much is enough to prevent investors from selling OHM below its floor price, forcing the protocol to purchase it back, is intrinsic to this. To keep investors interested, the DAO may contemplate modifying its investment methods to create a particular rate of return from its treasury assets, according to the protocol. Olympus has provided new means to generate yield to sustain the rate of return, in addition to yield farming and earning trading fees from the sushi swap pools. This includes both lending and the Olympus Pro program. Keep an eye on the types of treasury assets as well. When it comes to selecting the types of assets to be included in the Olympus treasury, there are philosophical as well as practical considerations. From the standpoint of a reserve currency, as we've seen with the IMF SDR, this should logically mean that the treasury only accepts assets that are the foundation of most crypto transactions. The protocol in this example began with the stablecoins DAI, FRAX, and LUSD, as well as ETH. However, such assets may not provide sufficient returns to please investors, and the protocol may explore including additional assets with higher yields. This could result in a tangled treasury that is difficult to value appropriately, complicating the use of OHM as a unit of account. The treasury's total value is also something to think about. It is easier to earn significant returns when you have a modest quantity of capital, and it is far more difficult when the capital balloons to a considerable magnitude. Will investors be willing to accept lower returns as the treasury grows in size? Alternatively, Olympus could limit the treasury's size, thus limiting the number of OHM that can be issued to preserve a particular level of returns for existing investors. Take a look at the price of OHM, of course. Finally, we must remember that Olympus's primary goal is for OHM to become the crypto industry's reserve currency. The price of most cryptocurrencies exhibits high volatility at the start of the project, and OHM is no exception. While OHM is a free-floating currency, it will need to maintain a somewhat steady price if it is to fulfill its role as a reserve currency, notably as a medium of exchange and unit of account. The other four metrics we mentioned before all play a role in whether or not this happens in the end. Is Olympus DAO OHM, a good investment right now? Olympus DAO is now operational and investigating new methods to improve the protocol and platform. Furthermore, the Olympus team published Olympus DAO Pro to address the existing DeFi issues. Olympus DAO has passed many milestones that indicate the platform's undeniable success. Compared to other similar platforms, such as Fay Protocol, which has an average APY of 40%, the OHM staking APY is over 8,000%, a highly appealing number. Initially, the APY was over 200,000%, but it has since dropped to a more consistent 8,000. Because more people will participate in the long-term staking method, the benefits will have to be allocated to a larger number of speakers. This statistic is a highly effective marketing tactic for attracting more users to the site. Furthermore, thanks to the rebase mechanism and bond sales, the protocol can retain a high APY value. The OHM overminted supply and game theory, however, can have an impact on the APY. Since April 2021, almost 90% of the total supply of OHM has been staked, suggesting that most players are playing the game theory for mutual advantage. This contributes to the Olympus platform's long-term success. 
Olympus Dow Pro is on the rise as the Olympus team uses the same successful concept as Olympus Dow to gain liquidity from other platforms via bonds, such as Alchemix, Frax, Abracadabra, and others. The Olympus Dow Pro edition will be a member of the new DeFi 2.0 wave because of its capital efficiency function. This could be a future trend, given that DeFi still has a lot of issues that need to be addressed. And, as always, whether it's worth investing in or not. So, do your homework beforehand and be accountable for your money. In conclusion, Olympus DAO has been in operation for almost six months, and they have recently introduced the Pro edition of the platform to go further in the DeFi sector. The majority of OHM holders are now staking their tokens on the system, indicating that they are eager to embark on a long-term adventure with Olympus DAO, potentially increasing Olympus DAO's market dominance. That's everything there is to know about Olympus DAO and the OHM token. I hope you've gotten some valuable insights into Olympus DAO's potential. That concludes today's video. Please subscribe to the channel and enable alerts to be notified of new uploads. This is Crypto Now, and we'll see you in our next video.